Before you can harness the power of Tempo accounts for your company, there are some things that you first need to set up. Tempo accounts are like a high-level organizer for categorizing all the time that is logged by your employees using Tempo timesheets. Here at Lunar Industries, we use Tempo accounts for everything, from tracking billable work for invoicing, to tracking how many vacation days the teams have taken this year. To get Lunar Industries set up to use Tempo accounts, there are some things that our wonderful JIRA administrator Lars needs to do first. Grant the Tempo account administrator permission to the right people. Add the Tempo account custom field to JIRA issue screens. And optionally, create a Tempo account work attribute for the log time form. You'll see why each step matters in a minute, so let's get going. The first step is for Lars to grant the Tempo account administrator permission. He'll give this permission to our project and account managers and members of our financial and accounting team. And this is because it lets them create and manage the Tempo accounts for our company. This is a Tempo permission that is added to the JIRA Global permissions. And to navigate there from Tempo, Lars goes to the Settings and Permission Overview. And then clicks here to open the Global permissions. And there it is. Down at the bottom, he needs to grant this permission to a JIRA group that he's already created, called Lunar Tempo Account Admins. This group includes project managers and members of our financial team here at Lunar Industries. And you see that this group has been added to the Tempo Account Admin permission. The next thing that Lars needs to do is configure the Tempo Account Custom field in Tempo. This field was automatically created when he installed Tempo. And he finds this field by opening the JIRA settings, selecting Issues, and then selecting Custom Fields. And there it is at the top. So why do you need this Tempo Account field? Well, it's actually the key to capturing the time that's logged to JIRA projects to which the Tempo accounts are linked. This Tempo Account field needs to be made available in the JIRA issue screens and or in the log time form in Tempo timesheets. You can add the Tempo account field in both of these ways if you like, and nobody gets hurt. It just depends on how you want to work. So let's first look at how to add the Tempo account field to JIRA issue screens. With this method, all the time logged to an issue will use the same account that is linked to it here. This takes the guesswork out of using the correct account when you log your time. To add this field, let's go back to the Custom Fields page. Here, Lars clicks the button at the right end of the Account field and selects Associate to Screens. Then he selects the JIRA Issue screens where he wants to associate this field. And clicks Update at the bottom of the page to save his changes. Now everyone at Lunar Industry will see this Tempo account drop down in the issues whose JIRA projects use these screens. This field will be empty until the accounts are created and linked to their JIRA projects, which is covered in other videos in this series. So if you don't need to change accounts when you log your time to an issue, the Tempo account drop-down in JIRA issues is probably the best setup for you. However, if you do want to select from multiple accounts when you log your time to an issue, the Tempo account drop-down in the log time form can be useful for you. So let's take a look at that method, which is done by creating an account work attribute. But first off, what are work attributes? They're custom options that you can add to the log time form so that employees can log time to specific things that are useful for your company to track, such as overtime, travel, or transport costs. In this case, the account work attribute appears as a dropdown from which we can select a tempo account when we log time to an issue. For example, employees from different teams and departments can select their particular account when they log time to the same issue. So here's how Lars, who is both our JIRA and Tempo administrator, creates this work attribute. In the Tempo settings, he selects Work Attributes. Then he enters the name for the work attribute to create, and Tempo account makes it pretty clear what this is. He leaves the required checkbox empty since it's not necessary for everyone to use. 
And now he selects the type, which is account. And note that there can be only one work attribute of the account type, since there is only one account custom field. Then he clicks add to save this attribute. And there it is. Now everybody at Lunar Industries will see this drop down in the log time form. And we can select one of the linked accounts when we log time to an issue. This means that time records with different accounts will be created on the same issue. And we'll be able to see these time records in my work and in log time reports when we group by user and work log. So we're finally all set up to create our Tempo accounts and start using them for different purposes here at Lunar Industries. You can follow along with the other videos in this series to see how we do this.